Good morning, everyone. All right, here's our first rock steady boxing uh, class from afar. So some equipment you'll need is all you stuff at your house, two soup cans and two boxes of something. We're gonna use them to step, stack up to use to hurdle over. So have some boxes and some soup cans and hopefully we'll have some fun today. I am missing you. It is quite strange being in a studio all by myself about to give a class. So let's have fun. All right, hopefully you can hear me. I will talk as loud as I can. Let's start with our normal warm up. Let's just do a little crisscross. Side to side step. All right, make sure you take those nice big steps. Try to cross those arms in front of you and let them get behind you. Also, if you have any balance issues, have a chair nearby. You can do the same exercises with the chair in front of you. Good, let's take the arms out wide, feet out wide. Let's twist side to side. Pivoting on those feet, moving those hips. And breathe, inhale and exhale. Good job. I can tell you're all doing a real good job at home. All right, good. Let's take those feet together. Let's just do a few circles, nice and big. Reach them up over your head. Take them out to the side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. See if you can look up, lift the chest up. Work on opening up that posture. If you can, bring the hands together in front of you as they go up and then they go out to the side. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's just do our knee lifts with touching opposite knee. They don't have to be fast. Just kind of getting that motion. Top of the hand touches the top of the knee. Good. Maybe while we're here, we can smile. Enjoy a little bit of this. Good. Lift those knees up nice and high. Keep the chest lifted. Don't let the chest sink down. Working on our posture. Good, couple more here. Good, one more on each side. And good, let's take our feet hip width apart. I'm gonna show you a side view. We're gonna do our squats. Feet are hip width apart. You're gonna extend those arms straight out in front of you. We're gonna stick our hips way back, bend our knees. Booty goes back. Then we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up. Press the hips forward, arms in front, booty goes back, squat down, inhale up, open up the front of the body. Good, I'm going to face you guys now. We're going to go down, keep the knees nice and parallel, chest is up, look forward, do not look down. Reach up, press the hips forward, make sure you breathe, nice and slow, inhale, open up. Good. Make sure those hips go back. And good. Let's do two more. Nice and slow. These aren't fast. Still just warming up that body. And good. Let's take them down. Just roll the shoulders back. Just move them on back. Give it a little smile at the same time. Good. One arm, then the other. Roll it. Move those feet if you want like I am, or just stay where you are. I'm gonna try to work in a small spot because most of us at home don't have huge rooms like I do right here. Go ahead, let's take our hands by our chest. Now, side view, we're pushing our elbows back. We're lifting our chest up. We're gonna extend those arms straight out in front of you. Fingers are spread the whole time. Then we're gonna pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift up the chest. So, extend out, pull back, lift up. Good. Use your eyeballs to look up as you do this. Now we're gonna add a step to it. You're gonna step forward, reach out, pull it back. Step forward, reach out, pull it back. 
Good. Try to get as big a step as you can, then take it on back. Make sure we're breathing. Good. Reach out, pull back. Reach out, pull back. Let's do a few more of those. Don't forget to keep those fingers spread, head is lifted. Keep everything in a nice upright position. Good, let's do two more. One, then the other. Good, take it down. Let's just march it out. Lift those knees up. See if we can get those arms to swing as we do this. Key is, is moving those arms. Over exaggerate the movement of the arms. Really lift them up. I'll show you a side view. Arms lifting up, swinging them up. If you can, get opposite arm to go up with opposite leg. Couple more here. Good, make sure we're breathing. We're not holding our breath. And enjoying ourselves. Making the best of all of this that we got going on. We're still gonna stay fit. We're still gonna stay healthy. Keep our minds and bodies going. All right, let's give a little shake, shake, shake. Shake those arms, shake those legs. Loosen it up. All right, next we're gonna do our side step. So step out wide with one leg, bend the knee. Bring it together. Step out the other side, bend the knee, bring it together. So step, together. Step, together. We can add the arms. Step out, the arms go out, bring everything together. Step out, the arms go out, together. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, good. Good. We're thinking nice big movement, so try to keep those arms straight and those steps nice and big. Couple more here. One more on each side. Good. And come back to center. We'll do a little stretch. We're gonna slowly fold over. Let yourself hang. Take your hands on your thighs. Press yourself up. Reach up. Get nice and tall. Slowly come down. Roll the shoulders back. All right. One more movement for the warm up. We're going to step back. So we're going to step back with one leg. We're going to take that arm. We're going to reach back move all the way to the back of the room and bring it together. Step, turn, together. Follow the head with the hands. So I'll show you a sideways view. On the next one, I'll come a little bit closer here. So I step back, my arm reaches back, I look back, together. Step back, look back, together. Good, nice big movements. Take that arm, really reach it back. Catching your balance. Good. Two more. One. And two. All right. Good. Next part we're gonna do is I want you guys to get a box of something. I got crackers, you can get a cereal box, pasta box, anything. You're gonna put it on your floor like that. We're gonna do our step overs. Let's see, make sure everyone can see me. I'll go back a little bit further. All right, begin with one leg. All you're gonna do is step over, and then you're gonna bring it back. The other side, step in front of the box, lift the knee up, bring it back. Step up and over, and back. Other variation, keep going with those. You can always grab a chair with balance. Do the same thing. Try to keep the chest up and back. Forward and back. Good. Really think when you take that leg back, lift that knee up nice and high. Step forward, lift the knee up and back. Forward, knee 
up and back. Good. A couple more here. You got the chair if needed. And last one. Good. Now we're going to alternate, leading with our right leg first, then our left leg. So you're going to go over the box with your right, then your left, go back with your right, then your left. So it's right, left, right, left. Good. Right, left, right, left. Keep that up. Try to keep the chest up. Don't sink down on this one. Good. The chair's there if you need it. This class I want everyone to be able to do. Good. If you knock down your box, you just pick it up. So the idea is to keep those knees from lifting up nice and high so we don't touch our box. All right, we're gonna do one more over with the right. Good, now we're gonna leave with the left. So left, right, left goes back, then right goes back. Keep doing that. Now, try not to go onto the side of your box. What I see in class is some people when they go back, they sneak around the box. Lift up over the box. Imagine you're in between two panels of wall and you gotta stay in nice and tight. Chair's there if you need it, otherwise, don't use it. If you want, you can add some arms to this, adding a little bit more coordination. There we go. Nice deep breathing. Once you know where the box is, you don't have to look down at it. Right, keep your head up. If you knock it down, no big deal. I might knock it down, I don't know yet. All right, <laughs> one more forward, one more back, perfect. All right, let's take our box, let's make it, turn it that way. Now, if you want, you have the option of doing two boxes. That's why I have two boxes, you can make it higher up or you can keep it lower. Chairs need it, you're gonna take your chair, and you're going to put it here if you're holding on to the chair. If you don't need the chair, put it to the side. All right, we're going to go over the box side to side. So lift up and over. When you do this, keep going, he's down to talk. Really lift the knees up nice and high. That first step you take, take a really big step. Nice big step. They don't have to be fast. Once you know where that box is, don't look down. Keep your body up. Breathe. <sighs> Everyone's looking good out there, doing a great job. <laughs> All right, keep it going. Have fun with it. So much fun. You can swing the arms if you want. Keep those legs lifting. Couple more, okay? Lift them up and over. Nice, big steps. Good. One more to each side. And good. We'll end up on one side. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the other leg, touch the top of your box, and then touch the floor. If you wanna make it a little harder, take the box and put it upright, just so it's a little bit higher. You're gonna to touch and bring it down. Touch very lightly, you don't wanna squish the box. Touch, lightly bring it down. Working on your balance. Touch it softly when you land, land soft. Again, if you need the chair, chair nearby. Safety is always more important. Nobody's watching at home, so be safer. Nothing to prove, just move. Good. Couple more on this side, then we'll switch. Again, once you know where that box is, you don't have to keep looking down. You're like, I know where it is, I'm gonna touch it gently, put it on down. All right, let's go to the other side. 
All right, so first, feet together, stand up tall, lightly touch the box with your foot, step over it. Lightly touch, land softly. Lightly touch, land softly. Good, if you need that chair, have in your pie, you probably want it on the other side. Or if you're at home, you can turn around. Good. Keep in touch and step. Touch and step. Working on balance movements. Balance still, lightly. The more balanced, the less you're going to touch the box. Move the hands under where they like. Good. Breathe. And touch. Good. We're going to do one more. Perfect. All right. I'm going to show you the side view for this one. You're going to have your box upright like that. Let's see. Let me get you in my picture. Can you see box in picture? Yes. Okay. Other stuff out of the way. Box is there. Chair version. I'm going to have a chair over here. Non-chair version. I'm going to take my right foot a little bit distance, maybe a two feet away from my box. Stand on my right leg, left foot's off the floor. I'm gonna touch my box with my right hand, stand up tall, reach my right arm up. Touch my box with my right hand, stand up tall, reach up. You can hold on to the chair too. Touch my box, reach up. Other option, keep going. Back foot touches, Touch and reach. Most of the weight's on the right side. So, touch and reach. Touch and reach. Keep going. Touch, reach, touch, reach. Good. Be a little more stable. Good, now let's stand on that right leg, lift the left knee up, face forward again for this one. Feel your right heel pressing into the earth. Press down, root down. If you need to, you got that chair over here. Reach your right arm up if you can, press down. Reach your left arm up, hold, breathe. Good, find one point to focus on. Good, couple more seconds, and down. All right, let's do the other side. Left foot is going to be two feet away. You're gonna stay on that left leg, and you're gonna reach, touch the box with your left hand, reach it up. Option, you keep the foot on the floor, touch, reach, or you can hold on to the chair, you'd have to reposition it. So keep doing those, do a few more of those. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I realized I didn't have the air on. Now I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> All right, so we're on that left foot. We're gonna touch and reach. Reach the arm up. Sorry, left hand and up. Couple more. Touch and reach. Up. Two more. Touch and reach. Up. Last one. Touch and reach. Up. All right. One more for balance with the box. Then we'll retire the box. All right. So with the box in front of you, I'm going to show you here on the side view. You're going to put your right toes right behind the box. Left foot's gonna go on one side of the box. You're gonna lift up the knee, touch the other side. Lift up the knee, touch the other side. Let me show you this point of view, keep going. I just wanna make sure you can see the angle. It's touching one side, lifts up nice and high, lightly touches the other. If you need to, chair, again, pull it on to it. Up and over, up, and over. Good. Keep going. Really lift up that knee. Slowly land it down. 
Inhale, exhale. Good. Couple more. Oops, almost knocked it down. Try not to look down at the box once you know where it is. Good. Let's switch the other side. Left toes line up right behind the box and touch the box. Right foot goes on one side. You're going to lift that knee up, tap to the other, lift it up, tap over. So up and over, up and over. No chair, holding, find your balance, look up, breathe, breathe. Good, keep going, keep lifting those knees up, keep that body up nice and tall. Breathe in and out. Just want to come see you up nice and close. Good job. <laughs> All right, keep it going. A few more to go. Lift that right leg up and over. Chair, no chair. Good. Last one. All right, good. Let's put our box away. We are done with boxes. Let's take a zip of water. Hydrate. Water is good for the body. It's good for the immune system. Keeps everything moving nice and smooth. So make sure we drink often. All right, next you're gonna use your soup cans. So hopefully you have them. If you don't have them, pause the video, get two soup cans, heavier soup cans if you wanna lift a little more weight or some lighter soup cans. All right. I know I have more soup cans now than usual because I normally don't have any of this stuff. So, holding your cans out in front of you. Your feet are gonna be hip width apart. I'm gonna a little closer, let's make sure you can still see my head. Bend your knees a little bit. So, let me just say a little something. When we do our exercises to strengthen our body, you wanna make sure you stand in a really nice aligned posture. If I do my exercises in a slumped over position, lifting up my weights or whatever it is, I'm making my muscles stronger that way. Now, if I lift up my body, all right, sideways view, here's not good. If I lift up my chest, look how my shoulders align. I don't even have to push them back. Then I'm ready to lift my soup cans or weights or I'm at the gym. So. Just make sure we have that up. It also opens up the chest to bring in all of that air. So let's make sure we breathe as we do these exercises and stand up nice and tall. All right, taking our time. All right, feet up with apart, soup cans, one in each hand. Try to spread the fingers on there. Good. First we're just gonna do is lift them up to shoulder height. Shoulder height, keep our head straight. Take them out to the side, slowly come down. So up, out, down. Straight in front, out to the side, down. Now, when I take the arms out to the side, I squeeze my back muscles together, lift up my chest, slowly push the weights down. Or soup cans. Up, out, Push down. I really activate my muscles that way. So I'll come a little closer on the knees. Up, out. See my shoulders? They go down. I feel like I'm pushing down through something. It activates my muscles. I lift up nice and tall. Up, out, squeeze down. Good. Keep the face relaxed. Don't bustle so ass. Inhale. Exhale, don't forget to breathe. Breathe any way you want, just breathe. Think about opening up that body, nice and big. And again, if you, don't have, if you have weights at home, feel free to use your weights. I'm just kind of basing on what most people have. Definitely won't be using toilet paper because I don't have that much of it myself. So, all right. <laughs> all right, we'll do a couple more this way. Make sure we're focusing on the muscles we're using. Don't have to use heavy weights. Just really focus on, I'm using my shoulders. 
to lift up right here. When I lift up, I'm just, keep both weights in your hand. I'm just doing one. I'm working up and lifting this one up. When the arm goes back, I'm using my back muscles. When I go down, I'm using the muscles down here to pull down. So I'm just gonna do it with both. So I'm using the tops of my shoulders, using the backs of my shoulders, now using my right below under my armpit to push down and I lift up. All right, loosen it up a little bit. It's probably easier if you see me here. All right, next one we're gonna do is we're gonna take our arms out nice and wide. Holding on to the soup cans, the arms aren't close to the body, they're right here. All we're gonna do is squeeze our bicep muscles, make them nice and tight, keep the elbows where they are, and imagine you're pulling these out with much resistance. Squeeze them in and out. I'll make some faces at you. Entertain you. <laughs> Squeeze them in, pull them out. If you don't know me, well, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and if you do, you know me right now. All right, good. So just keep it here. Now we're gonna keep that W. We're just gonna lift the elbows up and down. Don't lift the shoulders up. My shoulders are pulling down. My elbows go down and just a little bit up. I can even open my hands and balance my soup cans on my hands. Good. Relax the neck, relax the face. Stay calm. You can even close your eyes and really just feel the muscles. Inhale and exhale. A couple more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Take it on down. Good, perfect. All right, I'm gonna stand up for the next one because that's kind of achy on my feet down there. All right. Next one we're gonna do is our back of our arms, our triceps. We're gonna first hold the hands so the palms are face back. So palms face back, palms face back. Now, again, we don't wanna have this, the shoulders like this. We want to lift up, stretch it up. All right, bend the knees, shoulders back. Head is looking in neutral. All right, we're gonna just push the arms back and then bring them here. Now, as you push those arms back, don't let this sink down. Push the arms back, keep it open. Think push the arms back and I'm really opening up the chest. Come a little closer, there, no face, but that's it, my shoulders stay back the whole time. I breathe. Good. Now you're gonna keep them back there. Just push them back there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Now let's have them, the palms face one another. Same thing. We stand up tall, shoulders back, chest lifted. You go back. Keep the posture. You're going to feel the tummy muscles work. Nice and tight. Bring them to your side. Back. Side, back, side. My arms stay nice and close. Back to your side, back to your side. Now keep them back there, pull the abs in, bend the knees a little, Let's push, 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 push. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake them out. Shake out that can, make out the soup. It's a good little exercise. Shake it, 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 shake it. Okay, anywho, have some fun with that. All right, <laughs> last one with the triceps. Palms are behind the back. We're gonna like, I'll show you my touch view. We're gonna try to clap them behind our back. As we do that, my shoulders still stay back. Shoulders are back, shoulders are back. Just little pushes, just 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Count with me, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, 
Let's go for the next one. Now, let me get down on this one. So we got the forearm right. This one's important. You're gonna take your forearms together. They might be down here, they might be up here. Forearms touch. All right. All right, anyway, so what you're gonna do is keep the forearms together, lift them up as high as you can, keeping the forearms together. Take them down. As they're down, you're gonna go out to the sky, side, side, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then give me a push up. Go down, come together, touch, go up as far as they keep together. If they separate, you've gone too far, you go down a little bit and find your spot. Out and up. Breathe. That's it. That's it, keeping those forearms and out. Good. Really good one for opening up those shoulders. Again, if this weight's too light, get a little bit of a heavier can, or if you have some weights at home, feel free to use that. You don't have to go super heavy. You can always add a few more reps, pause at any time, do more than I give you. Again, there's no rules. Good. We're just getting oh, strengthening, but we always want to do this in real good posture. So, right, my chin is up, my chest is lifted. Again, if anything bothers you with your shoulders, you modify. Maybe it hurts to go up that way, you just go there. Maybe it hurts to go here, you just do there. So you feel whatever is best for you. Perfect. That is that. All right. Let's do one more just with a little movement with them. And then we're going to go into our boxing finally. Just kidding. All right. So <laughs> bend your knees. We're going to just do a couple little movements with some boxing, but not really. All right, hands here, elbows in. We're gonna push over, and we're gonna bring our elbow back in, hand by our face. Over, hand. Protect our cheeks. Just like in our boxing, our boxing, we box like this. Elbows are in, palms face inward. So as we do this, we're just kind of practicing crossing over, bringing it back. Crossing over, bringing it back. So, punch and over. Good. Reach it over. And your feet can just be in a wide stance. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. We haven't started the boxing yet. Now, we're going to reach it up, bring it back to the face. Reach it up, back to the face. Elbows in. Elbows in. Good. Push it up, bring it back. Push it up, bring it back. Good. Keep going. Over and in, over and in, over and in. Good. Now we're gonna do it as if we're just punching forward. You're gonna go, I'm gonna go out. Our palms face each other. When you go out, palm goes down, bring it back in. Out and in. You guys can stay standing for this. Out and in, you should feel this in your shoulders. Out and in. All right, keep it going. Out and in, out and in. Working on that form, really extend the arm out in front of you. Bring it back in, elbows in. Extend out, elbows back in. Out and in, out and in. Good, few more, few more. And you can pick up the pace as long as you can extend the arms and you don't knock yourself out with your cans. Keep it up, 10 more seconds. Count with me on this one, working those voices. Count in your apartment, nice and loud. Ready, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, perfect. All right, hopefully we're having fun so far. Let's do a little bit of shadow boxing. We can put our cans aside. And if you want, when you shadow box, for the fun of it, some of my boxers have boxing gloves. Some might not have it. If you really get into it, you can order some for yourself. But I'm just gonna put them on. 
because why not? All right, so when we box, I'll go over a few basics for just in case there's someone that hasn't boxed before. Hopefully each class you pick up a little something new. You take your feet hip width apart to start. You take your dominant foot back. I'm a righty, my right leg's gonna go back. Now, oops, I'll stay here. I wanna make sure my right leg's out wide. It's not behind my other foot. Each class, I'll add a little something different. So, I'm gonna bend my knees. My center of gravity goes straight down, like that. Bend the knees a little bit. My elbows are in, just like we did with the soup cans. There's gonna be the first two punches we're gonna to do today. I'm just gonna teach you ones and twos. There's gonna be six different punches, and we're gonna add some kicks and knee lifts later, but for the first class today, we're just gonna do ones and twos. Since I'm a righty, I'm gonna teach you guys righty. If you're a lefty, it's opposite. So my hands are up. My one is gonna be my left hand straight out, and I'm gonna bring it back in. My two is gonna be my right arm straight out, and I bring it back in. Now watch how I do that. My elbows are in. Extend it out, bring it back in, extend it out, back in. Make sure we're not doing these. Reach it, reach it, reach it out. So what I'm gonna have you do is for a minute here, I want you just to do ones and twos, and I want you to pick up the pace for it. So I'm gonna watch the clock. I will enjoy watching you. Good job. I'll pretend you're here. So I'll give some cues ready and one minute starts now. Just nice and quick. There you go. One, two, you're in that boxing stance. Right, one foot's in front of the other and count them out as you do it. Left arm goes forward, say one. Right arm goes out, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Do it yourself, good. At your own pace. Stay nice and light on those feet. Give me a little bounce as you do this. And you can pick it up. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep it up. Snap it out. Good. Good, keep it going. Another 20 more seconds. Keep those arms going. I'm just gonna sit here and cheer you on. Keep it going. I'm gonna watch my eye on that clock. So you only have to do it. Count it out. 10 more seconds. Keep punching those out. One, two. Nice and strong. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Let's just take a little jog in place. Good, just nice jog in place. Move those arms, move those feet. Good, breathe. Ah. All right, good, keep it up, keep it up. Keep those legs going, getting that cardio in at the same time. All right. So you got the basics of the ones and the twos. Keep it going. I'm gonna talk while you jog. So we use all our time. All right, good. Take a little breather. So we got our ones and twos. Our ones are technically our jabs. Our twos are our crosses. So we got our feet, we got our elbows in, our hands by our face. We're gonna do a one, one, two. So we're gonna lean forward a little bit. We're gonna go snap one, one, now on our two, watch my back hip. It's sideways, and then I'm gonna push it forward and bring it back. So it's a one, one, two. One, one, two. Hip movement is really important. Now, that back foot, let's see, let's see, let's see, right? To get that two, my back hip goes forward, I pivot that foot, I bring it back. Snap the one, snap the one, and two. One. One, two. So let's do that for a nice minute. If you want and you know what you're doing already, you can move around the room as you do it. Minute starts now. One, one, two. One, one, two. Keep it up. Count it out as you do it. Say it. One, one, two. One, one, two. If you have a mirror, keep it up. You can look in the mirror. Look at as you do this. Count it out. Get yourself motivated, nice and strong. Count it out, one, one, two. One, one, 
two, one, one, two. Move that back hip. Don't forget about that. One, one, two, one, one, two. Keep those hands up. Keep it going. Keep it going. You're not done yet. Hands up, elbows in. One, one, two. One, one, two. Couple more. One, one, two. Two more. One, one, two. Loud with me. One, one, two. Good. Take it to a jog. Take it to a jog. Keep it jogging. Move those arms. Move those legs. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right. Keep it up. Make sure you breathe. Again, you got a chair, you can hold on to the chair. If you have a house you want to jog around, you can jog around the house. Good. Each day we'll be doing some different things, different balance exercises. We'll make some optical courses at our houses. We'll try to keep it light and fun. Good, and again, if you know anyone that would benefit from this, Tell them about the program. They can do this at their house, stay fit, whether they have Parkinson's, which is Rock City's four, or anyone you know that wants to stay fit while they're at home. All right, good. So we got our one, one, two. And we got our feet. So we're just gonna keep it real simple today. Our next one we're gonna go is two, one, two. That one we're gonna watch a lot on that hip rotation. So two, hip. Comes back, one, reach it out, two, pause. At the end of every one, you take a pause, you bend your knees a little bit. Two, one, two, pause. Two, one, two, pause. All right, we're gonna do that for one minute. Ready, let's go. Two, one, two, pause. All right, take the pause in between each. Two, one, two, Pause, two, one, two, pause. On that pause, keep it up. Make sure the hands are by your face. Tendency is for them to drop down by your hips and we forget about them. Elbows in, keep it going. Two, one, two, pause. Say it to yourself as you do it. Two, one, two, pause. Keep it up, keep it up at your own pace. Count it out. You got 20 more seconds. All right, two, one, two, pause. Two, one, two, pause. Two, one, two, pause. Couple more, two, one, two, pause. Two, one, two, pause. Two, one, two, pause. One more time on your own. Let's go. Okay, take it into a jog. Again, anytime you need water, who could? But for now, we're jogging. You can jog funny. You can jog with the shaky shaky. Whatever, just move. You got some dancing music at home? Dance. Whatever, move your body, have fun. Do -do -do. Swim. I can't swim right now, so I'll just swim in the air. Brush stroke. And butterfly. All right, shake it out, shake it out. We got one more round until we do our stretches and meditation. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one twos last round as quick as you can, but I want you to stay bouncy on your legs. I want you moving those legs as you do it. So you're gonna find one spot to focus on in your house. And you're gonna try to aim for that the whole time. Hands up high, so my feet are nice and light. I'm one, two, one, two. Don't worry about it. Ready, one, two, one, two, one, two. Go ahead, one minute starts now. You got it. I'll be your cheerleader. Let's go! Quick, 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 quick. Bring those arms, extend them all the way out. Bring them back to your face. Keep it up, keep it up. Last to find a round. You don't want to give up now. You've been in so good. Woo -woo. Come on, smile. Dance as you punch if you want. Keep those feet moving. Keep those feet moving. Good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Feet are off the ground. You don't want to be moving them. Stay in that boxing stance. Left foot forward, right foot back. 
One, two, come on, 20 more seconds, 20 more seconds, you got this. Come on, as you keep doing it. All right, keep it up, keep it up, last 10. Count it out with me, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and boom, one. Oh, your gun's hair, your gloves off. Grab some water. Hope you had fun. Oops, the daisies. Water time after your gloves. <sighs> All right, so once you have your gloves off, if you need to, pause this for video for a second until you find somewhere you can sit and we can do our stretches in the chair and we'll do a little meditation. So, pause, when you're ready, come back. I'm gonna go get my chair so I can sit down with you and stretch. And welcome back. Okay, let's stretch. <laughs> All right, this time in the class, I'll be like, okay, what's everyone up to this weekend? I don't know. If you want to in comments, please respond how you're doing. That would be nice to hear from people. Even though I can't see you, I know you out there. Take your right leg out in front. Let me see if I can show you. Side view, right leg out in front, pull the toes back. Hands rest on the left knee. Lean forward and touch for the toe. Breathe. Ah, relax the head. And good, let's come on up. Let's switch the other side, left leg out. See how my toes are pulled back? My leg is super straight. My hand rests on the bent knee. I lean forward, I reach for my toes. You might not get to your toes. You reach for them. Don't look at what I do. Too flexible. All right, reach and breathe. <sighs> Couple more, breathe. And out. Close your eyes if you want. Just enjoy this breath, this ability to slow down. Good, I'm gonna come back and face you. We're gonna cross one ankle over your upper thigh. That foot stays flexed. And we're gonna lean forward. Bring our chest down. It might look like this, might look like this. Wherever you are, just let your head relax. Breathe in and out. Relaxing a little bit deeper. Perfect. Let's come on up. Let's switch the other side. Cross that ankle over. Foot stays flexed. And we're going to slowly lean forward. Hands can rest. Don't push the knee down. Let it the knee be. We don't want to hurt it. And good, stretch out that hip. Let's take our feet down flat on the floor. Take one arm out in front of you, cross it and reach it over. The other hand's gonna go underneath and push the elbow in towards you, shoulders down. Close your eyes, breathe, relax. Nice, slow, deep breaths. Let yourself just kind of sit in the moment. Good, let's switch the other side. Other arm crosses over, pulls it on in. Relax the shoulder, breathe. Relax. And good, let's come on up. Reach one arm up, pat yourself on the back. Pull that arm in, look up. Stretch, breathe again, modify. You can take the hand, reach it down here. It doesn't have to be up and over. Everyone's shoulders have different limitations. And let's do the other side. Other arm, reach it up, pat yourself on the back. Either the hand comes here, pushes the elbow in, or grabs from above, pulls it in, lift up. Nice, beautiful posture. And good. Both arms slowly come down, roll the shoulders back. Sit in the back of your chair. I'll show you the side view. So your back's in there. You're gonna interlace your hands behind and you're gonna lean back over the chair. Breathe into the chest. And exhale. 
Breathe in, keep it going. I'm gonna come back so I can face you. And out, tip to one side. Breathe in, and out. And come back on up, tip to the other side. Breathe in, and out, and good. Let's come back up to center. Take one hand to the outside, the opposite knee, and you're just gonna twist. And come to the other side. Make sure when we do this, the spine is nice and long, so we're not rounded forward, twisting a nice crooked spine. You sit up as tall as you can, and turn only what's best for you. And good, let's come back to center. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of meditation. I'm gonna come a little bit closer to the camera. And we're just going to let ourselves relax into the moment. So close your eyes, let your legs relax, let your hands relax. Let's take three nice, slow, deep breaths in and out. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more, breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Now just let your breath relax. Let your face relax. Your shoulders. Feel your whole body just settle into the moment. Let yourself just kind of sink out of the thoughts of your mind and move on down into the space within you, your heart, where it's peaceful and calm. We're gonna take just a little rest here. And just be here for the next few moments as we breathe in this space within us. There isn't a past. There isn't a future. It just is right now. And in this moment, there's nothing to fear, to worry about, unless we get our mind involved. Let's take a break out of that mind. Let's enjoy this moment. No matter what, each collective moment we receive makes this beautiful masterpiece called life. Let's enjoy this one piece right here. Enjoy it. Who said you can't enjoy it? Let yourself smile slightly on the outside but really smile on the inside. Feel it. Feel what it's like to smile inwards towards you. To be joyful and peaceful just because we're allowed to. Breathe. Try not to let any external noises get in your way. But yet, recognize the noises that just make this moment this moment. Some of them might make you laugh. It's okay. Know that this space is always there. No one, nothing can take it away from you. Take your hands on your heart. Take care of the space. Savor it. Grow within this space. And whenever you get caught in your head, take a breath, settle here. Let's bring our palms together in front of our heart center. We do this to honor the moment, to honor each other and to honor this beautiful being that you are, this light, this expression. So bowing inwards, honoring ourselves. 
thanking ourselves, being kind and loving to ourselves. And then let's lift our head and let's honor each other. In yoga, we say namaste. So I say namaste to all of you. If you need anything, just reach out to me. Reach out to your friends. We're just going to find a new way of living right now. But I love you guys. And stay tuned for more videos. And when this all settles, I look forward to seeing you guys in the studio. Bring our family back together. But in the meantime, we're still connected. Love y'all. Peace.